All right, everyone. Um, in today's video, I want to show you uh, some things to be aware of when, if you plan on purchasing the Samsung DeX unit. Um, and for, I'm not going to get into too much about what Samsung DeX is, but it basically turns your uh, your phone your flagship Samsung phone, an S8 or above, into a desktop experience uh, using software and hardware. Um, this uh, Samsung DeX hardware unit docking station uh, costs around $70 and uh, it has a uh, USB-C power uh, plug, uh, HDMI plug, LAN port and two USBs to connect a keyboard and a mouse to. And you dock it uh, uh, inside here. For some of us, um, you know, uh, we, like myself, we want to go the cheaper route, uh, more cost savings. So uh, you could, uh, uh, you could purchase something like a uh, USB-C to HDMI uh, adapter hub. And this will essentially do the same thing uh, as a Samsung uh, DeX uh, docking unit, uh, which is a little bit less bulkier and a lot more uh, and a lot less expensive. This I bought as a generic one I bought from eBay for about $15, um, though you will be missing an extra uh, LAN, an extra LAN uh, port and an extra USB port, but you can still hook up a, a keyboard, you know, trackpad combination uh, using the USB, and then you can power it right here. Now, the thing that you want to be aware of is that, um, not all adapters will initialize uh, DEX um, on your flagship phone. But to start off with, if you have a Galaxy S9, um, you are good to go. Uh, so uh, there's two types of adapters. Uh, one uh, is the standard uh, USB-C to HDMI adapter. Uh, which does not have any uh, ports or um, any power plugs, and that's just called an adapter. Or this one, which is actually a, a hub, uh, because of course, you know, it has the two extra ports in there. So if you have a Note 9, uh, you, uh, uh, the Note 9 has a new feature where you could just hook up a third party. Uh, USB, uh, USB C uh, to HDMI adapter, and it will initialize DEX, which is really cool and very useful because you do not have to carry much uh, uh, stuff around you. Whereas with uh, these two other adapters, uh, well, this adapter or the Samsung, the official Samsung DEX dock, you would have to carry around um, a power adapter and cord. So I'll show you quickly how that works. You plug it in and it should just initialize DEX right from the screen with no power supply or any such thing like that. So that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I use it. Um, and whatnot. Now, if you want to go ahead and use a hub, so let's say you're maybe doing a long presentation or your um, phone is low on battery, this is helpful because uh, you get to plug it in. Now, the only thing to be aware of is that if you just use the hub without any power connection, it will only go into screen mirroring mode. So let me show you right here. All right. So it just screen mirrors uh, whatever I have 
uh, on the screen. But let's see if I could adjust the camera. But if I plug in the power port, it will actually initialize DEX. Let me unlock my phone. All right. And if you, and you, you could, let me go ahead and show you hooking up a peripheral, like a mouse. You plug in a mouse. And now you can see the mouse functionality there too. So that's kind of weird um, uh, and very inconvenient, you know, at times. So you would have to make a conscious choice uh, when you're deciding, um, do you need power or do you want to go uh, uh, less bulk? and just purchase the adapter for your Note 9. Uh, so that's something to really keep in mind. Now for uh, an S8 or an S9 or a Note 8, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, I have an S9 Plus right here. If I use the standard, uh, the standard adapter with no power, it too will just go into uh, screen mirroring mode. And there's like really no way to change it. Let's see. There's really no way to change it either. I've tried every single option. Um, I've gone to into connections and then go to more connections and from here HDMI mode you could choose DEX or screen mirroring and I choose DEX and um, it doesn't work so that's kind of strange I'll get into uh, uh, why I think it doesn't work uh, a little bit later on in the video but let me go ahead and finish off the demonstration alright so now if I use the hub, it's going to be the same thing as the Note 9, where if I don't have power, it's just going to go into screen mirror. And if I do hook up power, it will operate as DEX, as usual. All right, so, and of course, if I hook up the mouse, it will do the same, uh, it will function the same way. All right, so I think the reason uh, why, um, the Note 9 is able to uh, initialize DEX with uh, just the regular adapter and not the hub is that, uh, let's go in here about phone and software information. So I think it's because it's using Samsung Experience version 9.5. And I don't know if the Android version has to do with anything, but I'm, I'm speculating it's uh, the Samsung Experience uh, version, which is uh, the TouchWiz that Samsung, the overlay uh, that Samsung puts over stock Android. And if we take a look at the Note 9's experience, It is uh, 9.0 and Android version 8.00. So I think the, that's really the difference. Um, uh, I'm going to test it out uh, if I could get a hold of uh, 
of a S9 or an S8 with a Samsung Experience version 9.5 or an updated um, uh, updated Android uh, devices. So if you want to save a little bit of money, uh, go ahead and you could bypass getting a docking station a little bit bulky and you could go and buy a generic uh, USB-C uh, to HDMI adapter hub and that will work with uh, with the S8 and above uh, anything with the, any uh, of the Samsung flagship smartphones uh, currently out to date. Uh, if you have a Note 9, uh, you have uh, you have to consider uh, which do you want. Do you want to go bulk or do you want to go, uh, you know, uh, less? Well, either one is pretty portable, but uh, uh, I just find it sometimes it's easier just to carry around an adapter than to uh, also carry around an adapter and a power cord, but that's just up to you. This one cost me about $15. Uh, this one's also $15, so they're about the same price. So you, either way, either choice you choose, you're gonna be saving uh, some money on the actual deck station. All right, so that's all I have for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll f uh, you found the video helpful and uh, you're able to save a little bit of money. If you're if you come across uh, any other uh, adapters or hubs that might initialize decks without using power, please leave it in the comment section. Or if you just have anything to say in the comment section, uh, please feel free to do that. And also, uh, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to it. And I will try to uh, bring up some more updates or do some more update videos uh, once I get once I get them in. All right. Okay. Bye.